we've just set sail. Found our cabin on the boat, met the team, and we're now away for two nights sailing towards the Arctic Circle. This boat's actually electric, so it's really, really silent on the diesel engine. Super excited. So sick. probably been sailing for like an hour maybe and we're just approaching the first island just down the coast and there's puffins everywhere You're fully used to me with this one, aren't you? Yeah, but to everyone else, it's still weird. Oh my god! Is that this humpback whale? It's a humpback whale. See your body. So we have a humpback off in this direction. Wow. flying a drone from a boat which was incredible but also terrifying but what a we've been on this boat for like three hours and it's already been mind-blowing stoked how stoked are you so far very stoked what a day <laughs> i'm very happy what a First 
your little experience on this boat. We've just spent the last 40 minutes maybe, just chilling in the hot tub and relaxing. What an incredible, incredible first little thing. We've seen so much whales and dolphins and birds and the view of Iceland from the water is incredible. Cabin's a little tight, a little cosy. There's not an awful lot of room in here, but considering the, the other nights we're staying in a tent, it's actually quite big. So we can make do. Really looking forward to tomorrow and already not looking forward to leaving. <laughs> So I've just come to some more. I think the wind's going to be a bit lower and I'll be able to talk a bit more because I'm aware that all the videos being shot in a dark cramped cabin probably isn't ideal. Lovely morning, great first night sleeping, nice and rocky but to be honest it was quite soothing. It sort of reminded me of sleeping in the van on a windy day and having the van blown from side to side. Had a lovely, lovely breakfast with everyone and we're just now sailing back towards Iceland. We were going to be landing on that's Slap Island just behind me, but with the wind and the way it's going, apparently we'll be better off landing on the mainland, which is absolutely fine by me. So we're heading that way now. Zodiac and then head to the island. Scottish this feels like this beach and this landscape here does feel very much like Scotland. The beach has a similar vibe to Talisker with the black sand and the black rocks. Um, really really nice. This is so Talisker. This is literally Talisker. Like it's kind of inverted. Imagine Talisker's like yeah. there. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's just a little bit taller. Yeah. Like the mountain well it it's not even that, it's just that the mountains are on the shore here and not further inland. It was also a bit more loud. Yeah. Like this could be Scotland.
you keep the stick? Because yeah. of the fucking birds. Yeah. Oh. She got a hand in the air for yeah. the time. How amazing is this island? Whoa! Yeah. Beautiful. So all these houses are just summer houses. No one lives here anymore. Because we just come for the weekend. Can't see poo. Are you sure? Like right here. No. No? I think you might have just been turned. Really? I can't see any poo. Fucking oh, hell, that's good. Oh, it's so pretty. is Iceland. We've just arrived at Grunze, which is about 40 kilometers north of Iceland, and it straddles the Arctic Circle. The crossing did get quite rough, but such an experience at the same time. I think because the sea is a little bit rough today, we're gonna to be spending the night in the shelter of the harbor. And an early start tomorrow for a sail around the island as the weather's supposed to be a lot calmer and the sea's supposed to be flatter so it's going to be a chill night and then an exciting start tomorrow morning but incredible Where's a stick? This water was supposed to be fun and a car coming. Help us! Oh, shit. oh. oh god! <laughs> 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 
Thank you. Oh. Are you going camping or something? Or... Now we came on the boat. On oh, this. perfect. Where are you coming from? From Chazusavik. Uh, okay, perfect. We were staying by the Flotte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Nice to get a lift for maybe half a mile. We've managed to make it beyond all the Arctic turns now and we're just walking to the Arctic Circle. This island sits across the Arctic Circle and it's the only place in Iceland that does that, so quite exciting really. So we can just see the end of the island now. Just here, there's a big round ball which marks where the Arctic Circle was. I think in 2017, because each year it's moving further north. No way, it's a ball, so they can roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Wow. We're essentially at the very top of Iceland. Yeah. I think they want food. Hello. Hello, oh, it's the only place to land me. Wow. Red butted my knee. <laughs> he just picked up. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. There we go, the very, very top of Iceland in the Arctic Circle. What, <laughs> what a strange place to try and grab your head around. Such an incredible couple of days and this is like, still very hard to understand what we're doing and where we are and the experiences we're having, but so stoked. Gonna head back to the boat now and get some sleep. Looking forward to tomorrow. I woke up at like half five with the rocking. Couldn't sleep, so I've uh, just doing some laptop work. But breakfast time. Ooh. You have to bear. I do. No, not yet. I'm just woken up. She was asleep five minutes ago. And then he's like, you can do your thing. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> this is really happening. Jump in. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> no pressure on it, then we're all just watching. I know, right? Uh, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going in the water. Uh, the, the, boat, the boat is coming in. And uh, that means I'm going, and that means I'm getting in the water, and my adrenaline's pumping, and I'm a bit nervous because <laughs> the water is freezing. I'm having bread and cheese, I'm staying warm. <laughs> you, like this? you got it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Alright! I'm a bit shaky! <laughs> Did the photo's good? It looked good! I just don't know if I got it! <laughs> That's the next part, whether I got it or not! Oh nice, you can get the shots now!
Yeah. How far are guys reach the platform you got? Uh, to the platform, you'll, you'll finish the, the ladder and you, you see the overhanging steps. So, I mean, just just don't fall, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. It's incredible. Scary as fuck getting down here. We just got the car, we just driven just around the corner just to try and find some juice shop to get some vitamins, some vitamins and some food before the long drive. Um, what, what an experience. I don't really have words to kind of explain how insane that was. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually a bit of a loss for... Yeah. How to describe that and how unique and special and really, really good that was very happy that so much of it was videoed yeah i didn't actually do much like talking to the camera because i quite often wanted to sort of be in the in the moment if i could do and mm. i didn't want to constantly be like yeah. walking up and talking to the camera but it's just yeah i felt the same it was hard to kind of look anywhere else but the sea and the scenes and well, it was yeah. just unreal and i wanted to spend unreal. a lot of time just actually appreciating yeah. And not just constantly creating and capturing, yeah. like... Because we, we don't get experiences like that, ever. Ever. Mm. Like, that was just unreal. Mm. Now, we've got a very long drive. We've got, like, a six, seven hour drive from the very north coast of Iceland all the way to the very south coast, to Salfoss, to meet Nicholas for our second exciting weekend with him. Long drive, more adventures. I can't believe it's only been one fucking week <laughs> since we left quarantine I know. like actually not even that one week ago today we were yeah. still in quarantine waiting for a Nicholas week to... tomorrow is um yeah we're about three hours shy of him picking us up i know fucking hell it's um oh a insane bit unreal. i fucking love this country it's a bit unreal we've done so much and yeah. i can't quite put into words just how sensational it's been it's been um idyllic wales Right. Not the country. Next time. <laughs> <laughs>